Einstein has a big epiphany with this, with the theory of relativity. And he starts asking crazy questions, okay? <laughs> he's like, what is time? And everyone's like, what are you talking about? Like, what time is time? And he's like, no, 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 what is, what is time? And he says, let's just say that light is constant speed. And let's say that all laws of physics are the same when, when I'm doing stuff, yeah. right? He's actually influenced by um, a philosopher, a philosopher and a physicist, Ernst Mach. You know, the Mach number, yeah. like five, Mach, Mach 5, Mach 6. That's named after Ernst Mach. So he does all, all this physics stuff, but he's also really into philosophy. And he, he champions this thing called positivism. Okay. Which is the idea that we should be concerned about describing stuff that we can see with our immediate experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. This what is what is in front of me and what can I like see and be sure exists. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be very, very sure exists. Mm -hmm. Einstein takes this to heart and he starts asking crazy questions. <laughs> okay. He's like, what is time? And he figures that time is like the me seeing change. Mm -hmm. Right. The, in the simplest sense, there's a clock on the wall. The second hand is moving. Time for me is the rate at which I see the second hand move. Mm -hmm. Okay. Every one second, it's going this. Mm -hmm. It's doing this. That for me is time. Mm -hmm. That's how I experience time. And according to Mach's positivism, that is literally time. Yeah. Yep. Is the rate at which I'm seeing this for me. Mm -hmm. And then he makes a simple argument. Like if I'm moving away at the speed of light, then the image of that second hand changing is never going to reach me mm -hmm. because I'm always going to be running away from that image yeah. of the second hand yeah. moving, yeah. which means I'm never going to see the second hand move. Right. Which means if I'm going at the speed of light, time is like slowing down to zero. Right. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, right, right. Because the, what you're saying is if you, if, if the clock is here and you're moving away at the speed of light, the actual imagery of the clock, of the clock mo moving, like changing its second which, hand, which has to be like, it's like, you know, it has to travel. Yeah. Like you're, you're always going to be, a, you're running away from it. Like it, it's like Wiley e. Coyote and uh, yeah. whatever the other thing, it never catch. So meaning you don't actually see the, 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 the change in which to find, like in the analogy he brings up, it's like, well, if I'm not seeing it yeah. change, then, time then the not. time in that outside, like if I'm in a train and I'm like watching this, then the time on the outside is like, according to me, there's, there, there's just like, there's no, no time. Yeah. There's by. no time has gone by. Right. And so he's taking this like positivism, like so seriously. Right, right. Right. And he's like, the only thing that matters to me is my experience. Right. And, and it's this nice marriage of physics, mathematics, and philosophy. Like it took this philosophical leap yep. to actually get there. Got right. It. And that's actually one of the geniuses of Einstein mm -hmm. is like, he literally took this thing seriously. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And so he comes up with, with relativity. It's amazing. Yeah. Yes. Um, everyone's like dope. This is dope.